As the founders of Remax, Dave and Gail Leniger from day one built this organization on the concept that great people will pull together to do great things. And of course when we met and found out about Children's Miracle Network, it was just a magical fit. Mick comes in and he shows us this PowerPoint and the first slide is the Remax balloon right next to the Children's Miracle Network balloon and Dave Leniger caught it right away and he says, okay guys, have you ever been at a campfire? Have you ever tried to light one log with a match? I said, it just doesn't happen. But when you put a bunch of logs together and you put kindling underneath it, all of a sudden one match and you have a bonfire. And he goes, that's what we can do with Children's Miracle Network. And from there, it caught fire. That was our bonfire. We selected this charity and we knew we could do good for it, but it was only gonna work if the agents embraced it, if our offices did. So in 1992, when we kicked off this relationship, it was during the REMAX International Convention in Atlanta. We didn't really know what to expect that first year. We talked about the Miracle Home Program, agents were excited, office were excited, but it, it was a learning curve. And at the convention, Dave and Gail shared about the Miracle Home Program. It was very passionate. And when I got back to our office, everybody signed up. And you know, in Remax style, they stepped up and we raised uh, $350,000 that first year. The second year, we tripled it to $1.1 million. We have so many reasons to be proud to be with Remax. We're number one for a reason, and we never stop. Remax is one of very few companies to exceed $100 million in contributions raised. And so you have this collective power of all of these agents that are all involved in something like this, and it gives you a little bit of the, of the culture of Remax. It's just something here that's done. It's something here that once you hear about it, you want to be a part of it. The communities that allow us to make the livings that we do, they're really who we're feeding by supporting Children's Miracle Network. And you wouldn't believe how many people in a listing appointment, once you're talking about the Miracle Home Program, how they have known somebody that has actually spent time in the hospital. And you never know what life you're saving. You know, maybe one of those lives is going to find a cure for cancer. You know, maybe one of those lives will be President of the United States. We don't know. So when you walk through the hospital and you see Remax on numerous walls, on numerous floors, and then you realize it was started with Dave and Gail, who had a dream of making a difference and giving back and having it be something that is collective for all of their associates. You often see them as these wonderful leaders of this amazing number one brand. And do you forget how gentle and kind and ultimately generous these people are? I'm just proud of being a part of what they do. So that's how one log makes a lousy fire. But when everybody pulls together in the same direction, you can achieve unbelievable results. But the leadership has to come from the top. When you look at Dave and Gail's style of giving, it's not just writing the check. It's motivating people. He's not afraid to write the check, but he also knows that's too easy. It's very easy for some people to write the check. He jumps in too. And one of my favorite stories, we had a beautiful young woman who really had a difficult illness. And Mallory was helping run the auction, our charity auction at our convention. And you get one of those miracle children on the stage, and all of a sudden, the people are going $5,000, $6,000, And one of the auction items that came up was a pair of diamond earrings. And we're watching this, and we don't know who's bidding on it, and all of a sudden we realize it's Dave Linegar. And I don't know how much Dave bid on the thing, but trust me, it was an extraordinary amount. And he took the diamond earrings, and he gave them to her and told her how beautiful she was. There was not a dry eye in the crowd. That's who he is. That's who Gail is. That's 
Remax.